On this worksheet, we're going to practice identifying or classifying alkenes as being cis or trans or maybe neither cis nor trans. Cis and trans are words that we use to describe the shape of an alkene, and it has to do with the, the, the branches or the substituents that are attached to the carbon atoms of the alkene. A cis alkene is one that has two things on the alkene that are perfectly identical to each other. So for example, maybe two hydrogen atoms, and those two hydrogen atoms are located on the same side of the, of the double bond. So this, like, this kind of shape that I've drawn right here, that would be something that would be a cis. And then a trans alkene is one that has two identical things, uh, and they are pointing in opposite directions on the double bond. So something like that. That would be trans. Something that is neither cis nor trans, that could be a molecule that has three identical things on the double bond. So like if there were three hydrogens or four, if it was just more than two, that would be a neither. Another option for a molecule that is neither cis nor trans would be something that has like um, four unique things on the molecule. So something like, um, like this. You, in order to be able to classify it as cis or trans, you have to find exactly two, no more than two, no less than two things on the double bond. So when we look at this first molecule right here, we want to identify it as cis or trans. We have to figure out what is attached to the carbon atoms of the double bond. Um, and that means that is going to involve us filling in the hydrogen atoms that are not being shown. That's really helpful. We want to look for two things that are perfectly identical to each other. And in this case, that's going to be the hydrogen atom and the hydrogen atom. This is not identical to this. Yes, they are both carbon atoms, but this is a one carbon branch and this is a two carbon branch and that does not count as being identical. So we have our hydrogen atoms and the hydrogen atoms are on opposite sides of the double bond. So that makes this a trans alkene. For our next example with our double bond, again, it's helpful to draw those hydrogen atoms in. We want to look for two things that are identical to each other. Again, it's going to be the hydrogen atoms. It's usually the hydrogen atoms. These hydrogen atoms are on the same side of the double bond, so that makes this the cis alkene, a cis alkene. Coming down to our next example, um, on our double bond, we have a CH3, we have a CL, we have a BR, and then we have this three carbon branch. None of these things are the same. These are all different. So this molecule is not cis or trans. Not cis, not trans. We cannot classify it as either one. Over here with this molecule, let's draw our hydrogens in. We're looking for two things that are identical on this molecule. And you know what? It's really not uh, very descriptive or very accurate for me to say that we're looking for two things that are identical because there we've got two things that are identical. So that's not the best way for me to describe it. We're looking for something on this carbon atom that is identical to something on this carbon atom. It's, they can't just be two identical things on the same carbon. Um, so for this carbon atom, there is nothing on this carbon atom that is identical to something on this carbon atom or vice versa. So this one is also neither cis nor trans. Uh, down here, we've got on our double bond, we've got a couple of hydrogen atoms. The hydrogen atom on this carbon and the hydrogen atom on this carbon, those are identical to each other. They are on the same side of the double bond, so that makes this cis. And then over here for this one, um, on our double bond, we have a chlorine, and that's identical to this chlorine, so they are on opposite sides. That makes this a trans. And we've got a couple of more to go down here on this double bond. We have a, a methyl, and that's also identical to this methyl over here. They're on the same side, so that makes this cis. And then last but not least, with this alkene over here, we've got a couple of hydrogen atoms I'm going to draw in. Um, on this carbon atom, there is nothing on this carbon atom that is identical to anything on this carbon atom over here. So this is also neither a cis nor a trans. 
Now also on this worksheet, it suggested that we name as many of these molecules as we could possibly name. Cis and trans um, are prefixes that we attach to the beginning of the molecule's name. So if, if the molecule is classified as either cis or trans, that does become part of the molecule's name. So let's name this guy right here. Let me erase those little uh, highlights. The molecule is going to begin with the prefix cis so that we can indicate the shape of the molecule. Here is our longest carbon chain. We want to number this carbon chain starting at the end closest to the double bond. We want to locate the branch. It's on carbon number three, so it's a three methyl. We want to locate the double bond. It's on carbon number two. And then we want to say the molecule's name, pent -ene, like that. So that's a complete name for this molecule. Um, this guy over here, this one is, this guy right here, this is one that we said is not cis or trans, which means there's going to be nothing in the front of the molecule's name. Uh, I am going to leave this classification up here, but that's not going to be part of its name. The longest carbon chain that contains the double bond is going to be right here like this. It's not the longest carbon chain in the molecule, but when we are locating the longest carbon chain of an alkene, the double bond has to be part Part of that chain. Uh, we want to number it starting at the double bond, one, two, three, four. We have two branches, a bromo and an ethyl. They're going to get alphabetized, so the bromine is going to come first, three bromo, and then the ethyl, two ethyl. Then we're going to locate the double bond, which is on carbon number one, but for the four carbon chain, and change the ending to ene. For this, uh, this molecule right here, we said that this one is a cis. This is a cyclohexene. We named that one on the last worksheet. This molecule is trans. We want to number our carbon chain starting at the end closest to the double bond name and locate our substituents. We have two chlorines, two chloros. One is on carbon number two, one is on carbon number three. Since there's two of them, we say dichloro. Then we locate the double bond, it's on carbon number two, and then we say the molecule's name, hexene. This one is not cis or not trans. I'm just going to change that to say neither since that takes up a lot of space. This one is neither, and that means that we don't have cis or trans in the molecule's name. Uh, we want to number this carbon chain starting at the end closest to the double bond. We have three branches in this molecule, a chlorine, a bromine, and a methyl. Putting them in alphabetical order... We want to do the bromine first, so it's going to be 3-bromo, then chlorine comes next, 2-chloro, then the methyl, 4-methyl, then we say the position of the double bond, it's on carbon number 2, and then we say the molecule's name, pentene, ene because there's a double bond, that's a really long name. This next one also is not cis, not trans. Number that carbon chain, one, two, three. Locate our branch, it's on carbon number two. Locate the position of the double bond, it's on carbon number one. This is a propene. And for our last two, this uh, first one we said was trans. There are no branches at all. The double bond is located on carbon number two. This is a five carbon chain, so it is pentene. And this last one right here, this one is actually um, really tricky to name. We've really, I don't think we've named anything like this molecule at all. 
we decided this one was a cis. So the tricky part of this one is finding the parent chain. The parent chain is the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms that contains that double bond. So the parent chain is right there. And we want a number of the parent chain starting at the end closest to the double bond. So we go one, two, three. Um, the tricky part here is what do we call this guy? So this is a, this is a branch on the molecule. Uh, what would this thing's name be as a branch? Well, first of all, we know that the branch is located on carbon number one. This, if it were a molecule, we would call cyclopropane. When something is a branch, we just drop the ane part and we replace it with ill. Like methane becomes methyl, ethane becomes ethyl, cyclopropane becomes cyclopropyl. Cyclopropyl, locate the double bond, it's on carbon number one, and then name the molecule propene.